let's add some custom 3 armor to Minecraft. All right, we found ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding custom 3D armor to Minecraft. So this is going to be a custom 3D armor model for our citrine armor. Now, one, this is once again going to be something that we're going to use Blockbench for, as well as GeckoLib, because GeckoLib actually makes this very easy for us. So let's just take a look at a Blockbench. So I've already prepared a you know custom armor here. I will say this, it doesn't look good. The texture is not the best and also... Overall, it's just not the greatest texture or the greatest model, but it d is definitely custom. Like, that's the only thing that you can definitely say about it is custom. I think the helmet is fine. The rest is arguably not the greatest, but that's going to be okay. The way that you can create this, go to File Plugins. You need the GeckoLib Animation Utils right here. This is very important. And then you can basically proceed with this. And then what you can do is you can make a GeckoLib Animated Model. And we can just call this Test. And then what you want to go for is you want to go to File, GeckoLib Model Settings, and change this to Armor. Confirm. And then you get, well, the basic Steve outline basically in here. And inside of these groups, right, so the armor head, armor body, armor right, there is where you put in your custom armor, basically. So you can just create, you know, if I, you know, were to go for the head right here, I make a new cube, right? I can move it around. There you go. There's the cube. And then I can size it up and down however much I like. Right now, I would pretty much just, you know, put it in front of the face. Not quite what you have in mind usually, but that is the general idea. So let's just get this out of here and then we can take a look at this one once again so you can see the cubes are all in here so all in those groups here you can also see the texture like texturing it is also quite the challenge this is why i've literally just have the citrine you know blocks right here just so that you can basically see it and i've also added you know a little bit of a black square at the bottom so that you know the steve basically just is completely black so that I can sort of see a little bit better where I place everything. But once again, this is just a matter of trying out a bunch of stuff, being open to experimentation, try this out, and then you can basically see however far you get along. This Blockbench file is also available to you for download as well in the description. But how can you then export this? Well, you go to File, Export, Export GeckoLib Model. This will export a geo json file we're going to just going to replace this there you go and then of course we also need this texture and then we actually have everything that we need so we're going to switch back to intellij and we're going to start in the entity package in the client package we're just going to make a new package called armor and then instead of there we're going to make two new classes the first one is going to be the citrine armor model and then the second one is going to be the citrine armor renderer now those two are going to be needed but for those two to work we actually need a new armor item so this is very interesting so this is going to be our you know we have our mod armor item which is you know workable but what we actually want is we want a custom one so let's make another one so it's going to be the citrine armor item there you go which will extend the geo armor item here and implements i animatable so this is once again like with gecko lib here we're going to implement the register controllers and the get factory method and then what i will do is i will just copy over the contents of this the most of this so most of the contents are from the mod armor item because of course we still want our mod armor item to work and yes i understand we could also extend from the mod armor item things like that don't worry about it we're just going to copy it over and then you can see right we have the has full suit of armor on, has correct armor on, stuff like that. The only thing that has changed is the has correct armor on method because there was a little bit of a bug that I have and since basically found. So if you have a mod armor item, be sure to change this method to this right here because otherwise you will actually run into an issue. If you have uh, if you have an elytra on, then the game is actually going to a crash because you can cast a an elytra to an armor item. So keep that in mind. But that's you know besides the point right now. You can see most of this is just from the actual armor item this of course isn't the predicate as well as the factory and then this one as well those are of course the normal things for the i animatable in this case but there isn't anything interesting going on so our predicate here is very simple it just has an idle animation which actually we haven't even defined like i have no animation in here right the animation here is empty because i don't really want to have any sort of animation for this particular armor piece you can add animations as well of course so once again, feel free to try out stuff and just, you know, see how you can get on with that. But then after we have the armor item here, we now want to continue with the armor model. So this is going to extend the animated geo model 
And then of citrine armor item, we're going to hover over this and implement the three methods. This is the get a model location, the get texture location, and the get animation file location. This is the same as the raccoon model here. So this is pretty much going to be, you know, looking very, very similar in this case. This is just going to be a new resource location to tutorial mod dot mod ID and then geo slash citrine underscore armor dot geo dot JSON. And then let's just copy this over. For the other two here, this would be textures slash models slash armor, and then citrine armor underscore texture is what I called it. There you go, dot JSON. And then the last one is in the animations folder, and this is called actually armor underscore animation dot json because i have a custom json file for armor animations that you know have don't have any animations basically so that's the general idea and then this model is actually complete this is all that we need to do we can now proceed to the renderer which is also going to be fairly straightforward so what we want to do is we want to extend the geo armor renderer once again of citrine armor item here let's hover over this and create constructor matching super and then what we want to do, instead of passing in the model provider, we want to make a new Citrine Armor model. And then we also don't need any type of parameter here. What we do, however, want to have is the following. And I will be copying this over. So this is going to be basically defining the head bones and like all of the bones. Now, what you will find here is that the legs are switched. So you can see that the right leg bone is actually pointing to the left leg. I had an issue with this that, you know, the wrong legs would basically, you know, move. I'm not 100% sure why that is. I've 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 checked that this is correct and it was correct. I don't know, that might be a mistake. So if this does not happen for you, you know, you can just switch them around. These names right here, the names in the strings are the names of these ones right here. So this is should be the armor right armor, right? As you can see, armor right arm, actually. And then this is the same thing, armor right arm. You can see, there you go, with the same casing and all of this. So this has to be written correctly. Make sure of that. And that should be fine. You can also always take a look at the example that GeckoLib provides. So if I actually look at this, we have the potato armor renderer here as well. That is also very useful. So you can basically take a look at this as well. Highly recommended. So just search for potato armor and you can basically find, I mean, how anything works as well. Highly recommended as well. What we also need to do now is we need to register this armor. So what we're going to do is in our events package in the mod bu event bus events, we're just going to quickly duplicate this one right here. Now, this is, of course, the register armor renderers, let's say. There you go. And this is going to take the following event. It's going to take a final entity entity renderers event dot add layers. And we're going to call it event here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to call geo armor renderer dot register armor renderer the citrine armor item very important dot class and then a new citrine armor renderer so that's also very important that we have this one right here for the mod bus here as well so they'll keep that in mind all right mini addendum right here it's very important so before we had the register armor renderer method inside of the entity renderers event add layers right here but this actually has to happen in a separate class where you set the value to dis.client. This is actually very important because otherwise this will also run on the server and when you then try to run the server, it will actually crash the server. So this is why this needs to be in its own separate class. You can see mod event client bus with the same event bus subscriber at the top here with the with mod bus in this case, but also the value dist client. And then it should work in theory and just wanted to mention that quickly. What we now need to do is we need to change all of our items to the citrine armor item. So let's go into the mod items class and change it right here. So this is no longer the armor item. This is going to be the citrine armor item. We're just going to copy the name here, paste it in. There you go for all four of them. So that's also very important. And then we still need the JSON file. So this is going to be the animation JSON file. As I've said, the animation JSON file, I have well, created a sort of a dummy one, let's say, right? So this is the armor animations here. Uh, as you can see, it literally just loops a you know empty idle animation so there literally is nothing to it and then we still need the geo file this is the one we have we have actually exported from blockbench here citrine armor geo there you go and that would be that we also need the texture of course this goes into the models armor and then this is the citrine underscore armor underscore texture you can also make sure that this is correct in the model right this is where we've defined this textures models in the armor folder citrine underscore armor underscore texture not png so should be fine as well 
and that is all that we need to add right here. So those are all of the steps that we need to go through to add some, you know, custom 3D armor model. Like I said, of course, the thing that really is going to take the most time is modeling the armor and then texturing the armor in a way that is, well, looks good. I mean, let's just be honest, uh, because this is going to be quite uh quite a thing that you have to do but overall it shouldn't be too crazy so this is everything that we need so let's see if it works oh before we go in there actually is a little bit of an error and that's right here it's not the json file it's a png file of course that sometimes happens when you just copy stuff over but there you go this is of course now fine and now let's see if it works all right so we find ourselves in minecraft and let's see if i put on my armor and there we freaking go everything here working now you can see you know it's a little awkward here especially on the legs where you know it doesn't quite cover the legs but it's still i mean what it is is definitely custom so you can't uh, fault me for that and like i said it really is just for uh, testing it out just for you know seeing how you can basically add it to the game but it's really cool and honestly if you you know add a little bit of variety like this to your armor it's going to elevate your mod just i mean tenfold it's just going to be really freaking amazing especially for like later level armors right if you have, like add you know three different types of armor maybe the first one is normal and then the second one is a little bit more intricate with a custom model and then the third one is like really awesome so i just highly recommend playing around with this and yeah that's how easy it is to add a custom armor model to minecraft right as always of course all of the code is available to you in the description below in the github repository an individual gist as well but otherwise this would be it for this tutorial right here i hope you found this useful and you learned something new if you did, I would very much appreciate a like, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. Many thanks also to my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting the channel, and I will see you all in the next video. So, yeah.